People often ask me, how do I help somebody who's depressed? How do I help my friend who talks about um, not having any friends or feeling alone or just feeling like they don't want to get out of bed? How do I help them? What do I say? I don't know what to say. And so I, I wanted to I wanted to talk about this because it's such a huge topic and you don't have to look very far in the news to see where people are depressed and they do things to themselves and ultimately at times they end their life. And I've heard so many people say, well, so-and-so is depressed, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And so I just don't say anything. And so I want to say that is your first mistake. You want to say something, you want to do something, ignoring it is not helpful. Then I get uh, someone else saying, what do I do when I try to reach out for help and that person is refusing or denying that they need help? So those are very difficult positions to be in. They're hard to know what to do. You know, deep down inside, something has to be, has to happen. Somebody needs to intervene, but who and how? So how do you talk to someone who's depressed? Well, I, first of all, you don't always need to know exactly what to say. That's one of the things I hear a lot. I don't know what to say. I would just say this to that. You don't have to know what to say. You don't have to be a therapist. You don't have to have experience yourself to reach out with empathy, not sympathy. There's a difference. Sympathy is saying, oh, I'm so sorry. And then you move on. Empathy is trying to understand, trying to grasp the reality of that person, their darkness, their despair, their agony trying to understand them, to listen to them. And one of the best things that you can do is just be present, be there with them. Now you might have someone who says, I don't need anything. Don't get me anything because you might say, what can I do? How can I help you? And nine times out of 10, that person's going to say, there's nothing that you can do. Just leave me alone. But the reality is they need to be with somebody. So you may not know what to say and that's okay. You can even say, I don't know what to say, but I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm going to be with you. And maybe you go over there to your friend's house or to a loved one's house in you or the room and you just sit there. Maybe you don't talk about anything, but you're there. And that person knows that you're there for them. You don't ask, you just say, I'm coming over, or I'm going to talk to you, or you pick up the phone and you reach out to them. You see, when you ask permission, can I help you? Or is there something that I can do? They're going to say no. So don't even bring that part up. Just say, I'm coming, I'm doing something. You may not know exactly what, to do, that's okay. The fact that you can do something, that's what you should do. So the next time you have someone who is depressed and you're wondering, what can I do? What can I say? How can I help that person who is depressed? I would just say, just pick up the phone, call them, or better yet, if you can, go to them, sit down with them, and you can say, I don't know what to say or you can just talk about your own life but the idea is that you your physical presence is powerful in that room with that person and if you can't be in that room with that person you can write hand write a letter go figure you can hand write a letter you can email you can text use all the forms of communication that you can possibly do to reach out. You don't have to specifically address their depression. The idea is that you're reaching out to them as a person, not because they're depressed. Does that make sense? 
So you don't have to, and I would even recommend that you don't highlight the fact that they're depressed. Uh, in other words, you don't say, I, I know you're depressed, so, so therefore I'm coming over. Uh -uh. You just leave out the part, I know you're depressed, and just say, I'm coming over. They, they know, they'll know why you're going over, and they'll appreciate that even if they can't articulate it. Even if you go to someone's house and they're in bed or they're on the couch and they're just lying there and they're not saying anything, you being there means a lot. And that's the best thing that you can do. So can you try that? Can you, can you think about next time that person in your life that may be depressed and you're trying to figure out what to do? This is, this is my recommendation to you. Go, meet, be, be present in the room. And if you can't, reach out in every form that you can, but don't highlight the fact that they're depressed, okay? Don't make them feel guilty. Don't make them feel shameful. Don't make them feel like they're the only ones that have depression. So remember, empathize, not sympathize. There is a difference. That, my friend, will help. And I hope this helps you to get some ideas of what you can do to help the person in your life who's depressed. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.